Hey gamers, welcome back to my gaming channel, Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater. It's uh, gaming videos of retro modern games with a little bit of uh, zany comedic flair. Um, we're, we also, we, um, I've started this, this YouTube channel f to promote my website that's being under being developed by my by a good friend of mine, uh, uh, Norman Corbet, CorbetGraphicDesign.ca. Check out the link below. I'm your host, the Big Geek. Thanks for watching. Uh, we're continuing our adventure with Ben Jordan. He's a paranormal investigator in Britain. He's uh, been rescued by his uh, friend. I wouldn't know. I don't sure if you would call him a friend, but he had saved him. Uh, Professor Professor Quentin Jones rescued him from the hands of evil cultists, and now he's trying to find answers in Britain, Britain, London, England. So let's continue our adventure. Uh, Saint Thomas Seminary. So he's in the. Uh, the seminary of the priest's office. Here's the uh, some pictures. Portrait of Jesus. A dramatic portrait of Jesus holding his glowing heart is on the wall. The eyes seem to follow you. A portrait of St. Thomas Aquinas hangs above the door. It's a small wooden cross. There is a large golden pot on top of the bookshelf. You wonder if it is a chamber pot. The bookcase holds several volumes of religious texts. Large mirror in an ornate fam frame hangs on the wall. The head of St. Thomas the Seminary looks like he's been here for a very long time. <clears throat> Let's talk to him. I'd like to ask you a few questions, if I could. Certainly. Uh, tell me about yourself. Have you been at this seminary long? I have. <coughs> How long exactly? This will be my 67th year. No kidding. You must have seen a lot of people come through here. Interesting. I have had the privilege to know many fine members of the clergy, yes. Um, St. Thomas Seminary. What tell can me you tell it. me about the seminary? We begin the education of all aspiring clergy members here. Our seminary is very well known, and we have had some of our graduates go on to do many things. In fact, we've had several members of the Vatican pass through here. Pretty prestigious. Indeed. Were you interested in joining? Me? Oh no. I was just in the neighborhood and thought I'd pass by. Just in the neighborhood? I have never heard of anyone being just in the neighborhood and stopping by a seminary. Well, now you have. Tell me about Cardinal Do you know Genovese. Cardinal Genovese? Nicholas? Yes, I know him. He was a former head of the seminary. When he was appointed cardinal, I took his place. In fact, this used to be his office. Really? Yes, I've kept it more or less the same as he had it. How well did you know him exactly? I would say quite well. I knew him for several years before he went to Rome. Do you still keep in touch with him? Occasionally I correspond with him, yes. Would you have any idea where he is now? I'm afraid not. What is this about, young man? You yeah. probably wouldn't believe me if I told you. Let's just say I'm looking for him. Looking for him? If that's the case, you'd be better asking at the Vatican. Oh, I know. I already met him there. What I need to know is where he's gone. What makes you think he's left the Vatican? A reliable source told me he's gone to look for something... somewhere. Pardon? Looking for something? Yeah, like I said, you wouldn't believe me. Anyway, I should probably get going soon. Yes, well, I apologize for not being able to assist you further. It's okay. I guess looking for information on him here was kind of a long shot. Thank you for your time. A pleasure, my son. I'll just be going now. Well, we got what we need. Father Flanagan. Now. Yes, Your Grace? It seems we may have a problem. 
What sort of role? That young man who was just here. He was asking about Cardinal Genovese. Why would that be a problem? Ordinarily it wouldn't, but he said some things which concerned me. Such as? He said the Cardinal had left the Vatican to go look for something. You mean? I had heard that Bianchi had had some trouble retrieving the amulet. Perhaps he failed. Oh. That means Genovese has gone after the final relic. Do you think Jordan knows about the knights? He may. I'll see if I can get in contact with someone in the room and see what's going on. In the meantime, have Jordan followed. We may have to keep an eye on him. Yes, Your Grace. Dun dun dun. Back at back at home. Any progress? Flat. Not really. I found a little information on Cardinal Genovese, but that's it. I still don't have any idea where he could be. That is unfortunate. We're pretty much at a dead end, aren't we? I wouldn't say that. Oh, you wouldn't? Let's look at the facts for a minute. We have no idea where Cardinal Genovese is. He's going to do some kind of weird ritual in a couple of days. He killed my friend, my girlfriend is nowhere to be found, and we have absolutely no way of finding either her or Genovese. Not to mention, you don't seem to give me a straight answer about certain things I need to know about. So unless you start telling me everything, or have some kind of trick up your sleeve, I would consider ourselves pretty much screwed, wouldn't you? Now, Mr. Jordan... Who's that? Knock the I door. haven't a clue. No one knows where I live. Who could it be? Answer the door, Mr. Jordan, but be on your guard. Puddle saving. Save the game. Uh, PQJ home. Replace. The large door, oak door, leads out of the flat and onto the gloomy streets of London. Ask some questions. Is that the best? Okay, let's talk. Ask some questions. Let's look at the side. Yes, may I help you? I'm terribly sorry to bother you, sir. Yeah. I was wondering if you knew where I could find a Mr. Ben Jordan. Ah, uh, let's see. Who could I find him? What could I shoot? What could I do? Evade the question, lie, or tell the truth? Um. No, sorry. Lie. I have no idea who that is. Lying is only going to make this more difficult, Mr. Jordan. How did you know Mr. it was Jordan? me? I've been sent to fetch you. Uh, there are certain people who would be very interested in speaking uh, with you. You're with the Knights of St. Anthony, aren't you? Very perceptive. So, what? I'm yes. supposed to go with you now? That would be the preferable option, yes. What's the other option? I'm starting to get really sick of having guns pulled on me. None of this would be necessary if you just come with me. Okay. Uh, Very well. What to do? You leave me no choice. Oh, trouble, I came a-knocking, you opened up the door, your lack of quick reaction means you're dead on floor. Uh, okay, load the game. Save the game. Now what can we do now? Let's see here. Alright, I have a plan to get through this. Let's try this again. Yes, may I help you? I'm terribly sorry to bother you, sir. I was wondering sir. if you knew where I could find a Mr. Ben Jordan. Hmm. Yes, Tell I'm the Ben truth. Jordan. Ah, very good. Hmm. You choose to cooperate. Yep, cooperation hmm. is my middle yep. name. Oh yes. What exactly is it I'm cooperating with? I've been sent to fetch you. There are certain people who would be very interested in speaking with you. You're with the Knights of St. Anthony, aren't you? Aren't very you? perceptive. So, what, I'm supposed to go with you now? That would be the preferable option, yes. What's my other option? I'm starting to get really ah. sick of having guns pulled on me. None of this yeah, would be necessary if you just come with me. 
Okay, talk Percy, to Percival Quentin Jones. Grab the grab the freaking statue and slam it into his head. Bam, bam, bam. Very we good. make a pretty good yes. team. I wonder how the Knights of St. Anthony found us. It's a close one. I'm not sure. What I do know, however, is that we are no longer safe here. This is not just any member of the Knights. This is Donovan, one of the Enforcers. Enforcers? It is their job to deal with any threat to the Knights of St. Anthony by any means necessary. So what you're saying is, they're the assassins? In as many words, yes. If they've sent Donovan, the other two won't be far behind. So where do we go? For now, I'm afraid we must part ways. I shall take care of tidying this mess. In the meantime, you try and keep a low profile while I find us some suitable accommodations. Where am I supposed to go? I don't know anybody in London. I recommend a pub called the Coach and Horses. You want me to go drink? No, you must keep a clear head. I am merely suggesting you go there. Get a feel for the locale. You may be... inspired. I really wish you weren't so damn cryptic all the time. But, at this point, I don't feel like arguing. Okay, I'll head over there. <coughs> so, I guess I'll see you soon? Count on it. Until later, Mr. Jordan. Later, Percival. Wait a minute. Where is the coach and horses? Can I go back in and ask him? Door's locked. Looks like you won't be getting in there anywhere. More. Alright. I'm supposed to find it. British Museum. Reading room. Maybe this uh, gentleman can help us, this librarian. Would you mind answering some questions? <coughs> if it weren't in my job description, then yes. But as it is, I don't seem to have much of a choice, do I? I'll just be on my way. Hmm. Let's look at the computer. You take a seat at the nearest computer. Let's type in... Coach and horses. Searching. Coach and horses pub, London. Coach and horses on Greek Street in Soho is a haunt for all sorts of writers and Soho types. Come visit London's rudest landlord. This place, the so place sounds interesting, but not the type of place Percy would recommend. It must be another one. Uh, Coach and horses, London Road, Isleworth. A grand example of, of the old coaching inns that were the main stepping places along the roads uh, in the London, in London, into London during the 17th and 18th centuries with many original features. This might be the place, except it's kind of far away. There might be another one closer to central London. Uh, Coach and Horses, May, Hayes Muse, London. Coach and Horses is Mayfair's favorite spot to relax after hard days of work. They have work located right, right around the corner from Berkeley Square. Its pleasant and relaxed atmosphere makes it for a top destination for those looking for a pub off the beaten path. Right around the corner from Berkeley Square? This has to be the place. You take, make a note of the address. And log out. Sweet. Save our progress. Uh, library. Let's go to the Coach and Horses pub. There it is, Coach and Horses. Let's read the sign. The sign lists the pub's food specials. Browsing over them, you decide that you can probably live without having any blood sausage and kidney pie. The, the eliminated sign lets you know you've arrived at the Coach and Horses. Let's get there. Oh, let's read that sign. The sign lists the pub's food specials. Browsing over them, you decide. Alright. Let's get inside where it's dry. We've arrived. An attractive blonde who seems bored. She's apparently the only woman in here right now. The hut blend babe. We're gonna take a little break here, gamers. I'm a little tired today. So we'll take a break at the horse coach your horses pub. We'll just stick to this pub. And we'll continue on another day. Gamers, thanks for watching you play. Uh, ben Jordan, case number eight. Uh, re re 
It's called it's called Mandroid Relics of the Past. Hope you had a good adventure. Certainly did myself. We had some advancement, a bit of a tension, a little bit of uh, thrill, chills, thrills, and spills. I would appreciate it if you would like this video, add it to your favorites, leave comments below, share with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Google, lots of social media websites that you use on a daily basis. Subscribe to my game channel, Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater, and you'll get notified of the latest updates uh, on my on my gaming channel. And don't forget to ring my bell to be notified of the latest videos. I'm your host, Miki. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more great game videos on the Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater. Have a great summer. Stay frosty. Bye. Like a symphony, you and I, we got history.